The Active Reports JS Designer is a desktop app for creating and modifying reports. You can install the app on Windows, Mac, and Linux devices. To get started, go to grapecity.com slash activereportsjs and download the designer. Once you have downloaded the designer, open and run the installer. If you are unable to open the application, make sure that you have downloaded the correct distribution for your machine. Once the designer is correctly installed, open it and begin working with your reports. Here are a few key features of the designer. In the center, we have the design surface. This is where you can create a report by placing controls from the toolbox. To the left of the design surface, we have the toolbox listing the available controls. Double click or drag and drop controls to the design surface. The left panel also houses the report explorer, which displays all of the elements and controls of your report. On the right side of the design surface, we have the data panel, which is used to configure data sources and data sets. On the right, we also have the properties panel. Here you'll find the properties of a selected control or element. By default, the properties panel displays the most common properties in basic mode. You can switch to advanced mode to display all available properties for the selected control or element. The properties panel also has a search component that you can use to search for a property. Let's create a simple report that loads some data and displays it in a table. From the file menu, we'll create a new report. First, go to the data panel and add a data source. We're going to load a JSON file with some data entries using the embedded file option. The content of the JSON file is displayed in the embedded contents box. Let's change the default name of the data source to something more representative of the data. Then click Add Data Source. Next, create a data set to query and select the data fields you're interested in displaying. First, we'll change the name of the data set. In the Query field, I'm going to select everything in my JSON file. On the left panel, open the toolbox and find the table control. Double click to place the table on the design surface, then reposition this table. Extend the width of the table and add a few columns. To add columns, select any of the column headers, right click, and choose Columns, Right or Left to insert a column to the right or left of the one that you have selected. By default, the table shows three rows. The top row is the table header. Once selected, you can set the properties for the entire row. The middle row is the Details row. This is where your actual data will be shown. The row will iterate to fit all of your data. The bottom row is the table footer. This can be used for aggregation. To bind the table to your data, simply click on the adorners in the details row to select the available fields from your data set. Here, we have a simple tabular report. You can apply some formatting, styling, and logos to make the report look better. Here, I've reformatted the report with a report title, a logo, and styling. Now let's preview this report. Click the play button on the toolbar. The report will render and you can see the results. To go back to the designer, click the back arrow at the top left. Once you have a report designed to your liking, you can save the report file. To do this, go to the File menu and click Save or Save As. Report files for ActiveReports.js are saved as RDLXJSON. Now that you have created your report files, you can add them to your applications and view them using the Report Viewer.